Is chronic fatigue syndrome real? That's the question we're gonna answer today. And the answer is, of course. Yes, it is. And for the people at home who don't believe that chronic fatigue syndrome is real or that the only people that get chronic fatigue syndrome are lazy people, couldn't be further from the truth. I've literally worked with thousands of people for over 14 years now, and I've never met one person with chronic fatigue syndrome who is a lazy person. It just doesn't affect lazy people. It usually affects people who are go-getters, type A personalities, people who you know, try and squeeze every little bit of juice of life and it never affects a lazy person. So let's talk about some of the symptoms that come with chronic fatigue syndrome, just to paint the picture. Uh, the first one is extreme fatigue. This isn't just like normal life tiredness. This is persistent and debilitating fatigue that is not improved by rest and significantly impairs daily functioning. PEM, post-exertional malaise. This is a huge one that most people with chronic fatigue syndrome suffer. This is a worsening of symptoms after physical or mental exertion, often with a delayed onset. So it might not happen within the first hour or two, it might happen a day or two later and can persist for weeks on end, uh, depending on the amount of load that person has done and how the body can adapt to that load. Surprisingly, unrefreshing sleep is a huge one. So feeling unrefreshed or exhausted even after an adequate amount of sleep. You know, I think the biggest myth about chronic fatigue syndrome is that uh, people just sleep 24 7. Now if you're in the acute stage of suffering then that can be true that you might be sleeping anywhere from you know 14 to 18 hours a day but most commonly what we see is over time sleep irritability starts to happen so you, you actually can't fall asleep uh, you find it hard to stay asleep your circadian rhythm is totally out of whack and that is a common symptom to cognitive difficulties and problems with concentration memory and overall function uh, often referred to as brain fog is another really common experience that most people with chronic fatigue syndrome go through muscle and joint pain so this is not just like a sore elbow because you bumped it on the kitchen table uh, this is widespread uh, pain that aching uh, feeling you know kind of like a really sore achy muscles when you have like a cold or a flu and also cold and flus are really really common because the immune system is lower where you'll get sore throats persistent and recurring sore throats sometimes accompanied by like tender lymph nodes headaches frequent headaches including migraine again enlarged or tender lymph nodes in the neck or the armpit now uh, flu-like symptoms so individuals see you know with cfs may experience symptoms similar to the flu like a low-grade fever uh, chills and general malaise and this can kind of again be like an underlying symptom that's just persistent it kind of just never stops. digestive problems irritable bowel syndrome abdominal pain bloating other gastrointestinal issues as well uh, sensitivity is a big one now that could be sensitivities to you know noise light and other stimuli but also other sensitivities heightened sensitivity to environmental factors like chemicals foods and medications as well depression and mood swings is part of chronic fatigue syndrome and the feelings of sadness, anxiety, and irritability are super common because if you think about it, most people with chronic fatigue syndrome don't want to be experiencing it and they're missing their old life. Like they can't do what they once were able to do. And so you can imagine how much pain and suffering that causes when you're going through this. And of course, orthostatic intolerance, which is difficulty tolerating, tolerating upright positions leading to lightheaded, uh, lightheadedness, dizziness, and sometimes uh, fainting too. And so that's just like a, a short summary. Some of the symptoms that people would be experiencing when they go for a chronic fatigue syndrome. There is hope and there is help. You can get healthy and start living again. It takes a multifaceted approach. It takes a health focused approach versus a symptom management approach. And we have seen tremendous results over 14 years now of people getting healthy and starting to live again. So there is hope. Don't feel like you can't improve your health and the quality of your life. It's absolutely possible. Hope this video is helpful. We'll see you soon.